I just want to give you a bit of blunt advice, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. Don't act like the estate agent owes you anything or you're entitled to anything from the estate agent because you're not and they don't owe you anything. Actually, they work for the seller. So if you don't make, if you don't act like a good buyer and you don't make relevant offers and you don't um, go in accordance with the agent's requests, then they can advise their seller that they're not going to progress. They, they advise you not to progress with this buyer because they're not a good buyer. You need the agent on your side. So you need to treat them like a professional because remember as well, I don't know why people think that agents are, are pieces of crap. All right, that's prob that could be the case in some instances. But generally speaking, agents are just good people trying to sell properties and rent properties. So remember that to the agent that you're buying through, you're probably just another investor. There are so many investors out there that want to buy investment properties. And if you're buying a really good investment property, the chances are there are other people that would buy that property other than you. So that's why I say don't act like the agent owes you anything. Don't don't be bolshy with them. Don't be demanding. Don't be entitled or act like you're better than them. Because actually, in this instance, on this subject, you're not. You want to buy a property, they're selling a property. So actually, they're the ones that, that, that are in the position of power. Share your workings with the agent. Be open about what you're trying to achieve, but don't be greedy. And what, what do I mean by that? Look, if I'm buying a property to rent out, then I will share with the agent, this is the amount of work that I want to do. This is the profit margin I want to make. This is my budget for doing that work. This is the stamp duty. This is the mortgage cost. This is the uh, legal cost. And this is the refurb cost. So I'll just be open about that. So therefore, I want to have an area of contingency. So this is why, I, this is how I've calculated the offer. What do you think, Mr. or Mrs. Agent? Get their feedback, but don't be greedy. Don't say, Right, so the house is work, is on the market for two hundred thousand. Um, I'm going to spend twenty grand on it, and I've got ten grand's worth of costs. So I'm going to spend thirty grand. So I want to buy this property for eighty thousand pounds. If I was the agent selling that property, I'd tell you to f off, just purely because it's an unrealistic pro uh, offer. And I would then go back to my seller and I would say, I think you can get more for this property than 80,000. So I'm advising you not to accept this offer. It's up to the owner at the end of the day, but that's what I would do if I was an agent. So don't be greedy, don't be an idiot. Because you want the agent to want to work with you. Because if the agent doesn't want to work with you, they're not gonna go to their customer and fight your corner. They're gonna go to the customer and say, right, I've got this bloke, he's a bit rude, he's offered stupid amounts. Um, you know, he just won't be interested in you. And I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way life is. If you want people to work for you for free, they have to want to work with you for free. So be a good buyer. Be factual with the agent. Don't give them a load of emotional crap. Don't give them a load of bull. Be factual with them. Give them the evidence that you have found, but don't make it out in, don't make that evidence out to be stuff that the agent has missed. Don't try and make yourself a one-up person. Don't, don't try and win a battle of who's, who's smarter and who knows property more. Don't do that. It doesn't matter if you do or do not know more about property than that agent. That doesn't matter. Remember the key thing here, you need that agent to work with you. But it's their job to then take your offer and present it to their customer. Now, you don't know what that customer's like. You don't know what the relationship is like between the agent and the customer. If the customer is particularly difficult to work with, that agent's not going to want to go there with crappy offers. It just, it's a tough life. They have to present the offer, yes, but how do they present the offer? That's the key. The agent will also be the one that takes the criticism for your offer as well. So remember that. 